of breath during an intense workout. The problem may be with your vocal cords. Yeah, a doctor at National Jewish Health is teaching athletes and others how to treat themselves. Health specialist Kathy Walsh joins us now. This is really interesting, Kathy. It really is. You know, he uses biofeedback and breathing techniques that he developed. The best part is no medication. The solution is in your mind. And on one, on two, on three. A camera up her nose and down her throat, a mask and helmet, and Tanya Haddig is ready to ride. She's all geared up and pedaling with a purpose, hoping this exercise will help end the shortness of breath that has plagued her for 30 years. It's like I'm breathing through a straw. This mother of two enjoys sports with her family, but intense workouts led to terrifying attacks. Anything that was prolonged, um, I would pre-plan the place that I was going to crash in the gym. Tanya has asthma, but this is different. Nothing has helped until now. And Dr. Todd Olin at National Jewish Health. I just want to hear that just a little bit squeakier. The pulmonologist is the brains behind correcting what's called vocal cord dysfunction. The throat constricts during high intensity exercise. Kind of sounds like <sighs> as patients are struggling with episodes. With the camera, Tanya can see the problem. Olin has developed a novel set of breathing techniques. We can teach patients how to breathe so they can cure themselves. It's working for Tanya, and that makes her emotional. You know, I can ski with my kids, and I can, I can do more, and I don't have to be afraid of trying. After 30 years, shortness of breath will no longer hold Tanya back. Tanya credits Dr. Olin with improving her life immensely, and she's not alone. He treats patients from toddlers to Olympians. Changes their lives. Absolutely. Just listening to her. That's incredible. Thanks, Kathy.